Hey ho guys, Leo Hightower here. I think I've cooled down a little bit after my little uh, blunder that was me going to do a live stream because the internet connection was total ball balls and everything. But I've calmed down now and I've got me some coffee and uh, I'm going to do some uh, gaming for you guys right now. Uh, if the commentary isn't so good, I apologize you guys. I was going to start off with uh, Super Mario Brothers 35, but the connection wasn't so good. So, yeah, same for Tetris 99, sadly. And uh, Rocket League is still being downloaded right now, so I can't do anything about that. So, uh, how about some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you guys? Let's do some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think that will, you know calm me uh, calm everything down and be exciting so yeah I got two friends online right now <laughs> Mario Kart A Same great game that was on the Wii U, but this one has more added on to it. And I think after playing through this one, I don't think I'll really ever go back to the Wii U game, sadly. There's really no reason for me to try and get all the stamps, because me versus closed. And I was pretty much done with the Wii U version overall. The only other reason was for me to try and beat 150cc mode. And the very fast F0 200 CC mode for the most part. So yeah, there's not much reason for me to bother really trying to do the Wii U version, especially because the Switch version has more added on to it, more characters, all the DLC, and uh, basically uh, more raceable characters and everything, which in my opinion is very awesome. True, I have to start all over in order to get a bunch of this stuff all over again. But I don't really mind one little bit, because I love me some Mario Kart. From the Super Nintendo Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart uh, Advance on the Game Boy Advance. And, uh, well, I never played Mario Kart 7, but this game in particular, Mario Kart 8, I love me some Mario Kart, especially if uh, I get others to play it with me. But enough talk. Let's get into this game, shall we? And we're gonna do single player. We are gonna go for Grand Prix. And as you can see on the Grand Prix screen, I have already dabbled in uh, getting gold on some of the races. The only ones I think I haven't done are the other uh, cups. I forget their names right now, but anyway, 100cc. And I am going to go with my boy, Ouija! And I unlocked something last time I played. I got the slick bike uh, uh, tires. But I think I'm going to stick with... Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the standard tires. So yeah. And the super glider. Okay. The only racetracks I have not done are the Crossing Cup and the Banana Cup, the Leaf Cup, the Lightning Cup, and the Hyrule Cup and the Bell Cup. So, okay. Hey, let us do the... Let's do the Leaf Cup, shall we? And the Leaf Cup has some of my favorite racetracks on it. And I like how this Mario Kart is basically a compilation of all the past Mario Karts with all the uh, racetracks from the DS game, the original Super Nintendo game, and even N64 game, which in my opinion is awesome. I love this Mario Kart. Let's ride! One thing I can say about this game is, I love the controls for this game. Aim. 
I really, really love the controls for Mario Kart 8. It's sleek, it's fast, and it's simple to play with. I say screw all the haters who would think otherwise, because when it comes to this game, I have so much fun with it. And my niece and nephews, just whenever they played this game, they had fun with it too. Ah, turtle shell from behind. But anyway, yeah, I have fun with this game. Heck, I had so much fun with the N64 game back then. Ah, hell, blue shell. Eh. But yeah. My first actual Mario Kart game was, in fact, the Super Nintendo game, the Super Mario Kart. And then afterwards, I played uh, Mario Kart 64, and I had fun with that game. And then I had Double Dash. I didn't actually play Super Circuit until uh, my last year in uh, high school, believe it or not. And I had a copy of it, but then it got stolen along with two other games that I had. It's so, yeah, bummer. But oh well. Say la vie, you know, people? Say la vie. Okay, lap three. Hit by a lightning bolt, I get shrunk down. Meh. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm using one of my wire controllers to play this game, not the actual overall Switch controller, or that comes with the system, basically. I think if I switch to another game, I'm gonna switch to that controller. In this controller, I like the feel of it, basically. Ah! First place, Ouija! Good race! Mario, were you the one who tossed that Koopa shell at me? Seriously. But yeah, anyway. Uh, first good race, uh, first place, yeah, not bad, not bad. And, let's see. The villager from Animal Crossing is here. Isabel from Animal Crossing is here. The Inkling boy from Splatoon, Tanuki, Mario, and Link is in the race. So that should be interest. This should be interesting. Of course, I'm playing at 100 CC, so this race, this cup should go by with Cakewalk. Sherbert Land, the GameCube, Mario Kart Double Dash. I always love the look of this stage, especially uh, on Mario Kart Double Dash. That's one thing I think I want to do more than anything. If I ever get more people to play with me, via uh, videos and everything like that, like my niece or nephews or anything like that. Uh, how about I give you guys some Mario Party with family and stuff like that, you know? I bet that would be fun. We could be like Maximilian Dude and his gang, or the Runaway Guys, because you know how funny the Runaway Guys are whenever uh, they do Mario Party. I mean, seriously. And it's even more funny with Miss Sanella involved. I mean, seriously, have you guys watched the Runaway Guys play Mario Party? Especially if Miss Sanella is involved? That is the most ridiculous and hilarious fun time anyone could ever have. Uh, but yeah, good times. Good times.
Who stole my shell? Oh. I'm thankful that I'm off on Friday. Because now I can actually do some actual gaming footage like I would usually do on Fridays. I don't have a set time limit or day whenever I upload videos. I just upload them whenever I can. That's basically how I do things. But maybe considering my work schedule and everything. Because I work on Wednesdays 7 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. Maybe whenever I get off of work and everything like that, if I'm not too tired, maybe I can make some gameplay footage or videos and upload them later on that following night, you know? Because if it comes to any other day, if I'm not off, I work from 2 to 11, you guys. And, uh, yeah, that can be a little, well... I can't really say I want to do anything after I get in from work if I get in after 11 o'clock because I'm too tired to do anything. So, yeah. Oh, no! No, no, no! Blue shell. Damn. But no one's gonna catch up to me. No one. First place. But anyway, uh... Yeah, considering my work schedule, I work on Wednesdays, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. And throughout the rest of the week, I work 2 p.m. to 11. Unless, of course, they suddenly decide to change things up on me. And I only get Mondays and Tuesdays off. That's not so bad, I guess. So, yeah. Maybe I can work something out some sort of way when it comes to my future video uploads. And expect more gaming videos like this in the future because... I really need to put out content on my channel. I know, yeah, it's the, just the start of 2021, but I need to put more stuff out besides, you know, me and Katie Rose's collaboration with uh, Luigi and Amy's Mansion. So, yeah. I really need to put out more stuff. Maybe I'll put out another Soul Calibur 3 custom character Soul Arena battle for you guys and hoping that you like it, you know? But more than anything, I wish I could use Soul Calibur 6 to do it with because Soul Calibur 6 has more customization options for the characters. Anyway, Music Park. I love how when you go down the piano, it plays the piano melody. That's so cool. And on the xylophone. It really adds to the music. Uh-oh. Ah, shoot. Thank you, Lakitu. Dang. One thing I can always appreciate when it comes to Mario Kart is the racetracks. And how some of them are designed. I really like the design of some of the racetracks, you know? And in this game, it's no exception either. I don't mind some of the changes that they made. Especially when it comes to something like, uh, Royal Raceway. Because, uh, yeah. We're trying to race to the finish line and everything like that. We don't have time to look at the castle. So they closed it off in the Mario Kart 8. They closed off the castle in Mario Kart 8. So I'm like, we can't go and explore the castle now. That sucks. But that's okay. Mario! Shoot. 
I think in the original Mario Kart 8, I had to be saved by Lakitu a bunch of times because, uh, the speed got too much for me on occasion, and, uh, it was next to impossible to, well, uh, oh, no! Nah! Mother Pfeiffer! Blue Shell! Every time! Who the hell keeps launching out these blue shells? Hell's at me, I swear. Ah, oh, no! Nah. Ah! Damn it! Well, I took second place on this one, so that's not bad. Dang! Dang! Blue shell out of nowhere, then a red shell! Ah! Yoshi Valley, Nintendo 64. In the original version, you could not tell who was in first place, second place, third place, or any place for that matter. I wonder if it holds true to this one, because I forgot. Apparently, s nope, uh, uh, we can still see. Ah, uh, no little hedgehogs? Okay, I guess maybe they removed the hedgehogs from this one? Maybe? <laughs> ah, shoot, Lakitu! Damn! And there goes the giant real she egg. Ah, shoot. See you, Mario. Ha 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 ha. I knew the blue shell was coming. And now that I think about it, when it came to playing Mario Kart 8 online, I've only raced maybe a few times against friends and other people and mutuals. So, yeah. If I had the power to back then, I gladly would have raced a couple of friends online if they had a Wii U and they had a Mario Kart 8. But maybe things would be better because I have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Hello! Hello. Out of my way, Mario. I like this music for Yoshi's Valley. Wow, it's so good. Yeah, but I get hit by a lightning bolt and it ruins the music. Ow! Okay, final lap. Here we go. How do you guys like my commentary for this so far? Uh, I know it's not much or anything, but you know, at least I'm keeping you guys entertained with my voice and everything. Launch! Ah, shoot. Well, at least it wasn't a blue shell this time. Seriously. Hey. Yeah. Eh. 
and we are done! Okay. Woo! I might have to start this track. I might have to do this cup over again so that way I can get a perfect on it. Perfect first places on it and everything, but still, this was pretty good. Uh, view the results. Let's see some of the highlights. <laughs> Not bad. Although I want to redo the race, uh, the cup again, so that way, yeah. Only two stars. 240 coins, a new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. Sweet. Let me look at my stats so far. Distance driven, KM, 133 coins, 341. Favorite course, Dolphin Shoals. I wouldn't exactly say that, but Luigi is my favorite racer next to the standard card and the standard uh, tires. But once I get more options, I'm definitely gonna start experimenting a whole lot more. When it comes to me in this particular Mario Kart, I have done pretty good. I wish I could show you my results off of the Wii U version, because I'm sure that would be pretty, you know, pretty good. I haven't raced with anyone online or anything like that, or done wireless play, but yeah. I've been saved by Lakito 11 times so far, uh, uh, playing this particular version. But yeah, I think that'll do it for the time being. Uh, when it comes to uh, Mario Kart 8. If you guys want to see more Mario Kart 8 madness by me in the future and everything like that, leave a like and leave a comment and subscribe for more if you want to see more by me. But for now, I'm going to call it a session for Mario Kart 8 on my Switch gameplay sessions. For now, this is Leo Hightower. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.